Welcome, Bob Duback, everybody. Bob Duback. Okay, fine. Need to forewarn you folks that I'm trying to learn how to say what I feel, which means if you invite me over to your house and say, Bob, make yourself feel at home, I have to go, all right, get out. <laughs> Because we're not saying what we feel anymore. We're saying the opposite of what we mean. For example, when you hear someone say that they're just kidding, they're not, are they? <laughs> someone will go, hey, nice haircut. You do it yourself? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> they weren't, were they? And it's infected all of our buzzwords, all of our catchphrases. When we say we're just kidding, we're not. When we say we're not kidding, we are. And when we say no lie, it is. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and when someone says, you know, you don't, they do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> now this is interesting. When people say this is interesting, it usually never is, is it? <laughs> do you ever notice that? And do you ever notice when people say, do you ever notice what they want you to notice isn't worth noticing? <laughs> do you ever notice that? Isn't that interesting? <laughs> when people preface what they say with, this may sound stupid. <laughs> There's no may about it. <laughs> it's gonna be stupid, it's gonna be stupid in May and the other nine months. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now when people say, hey, I'm just saying, after they said something, that means what they were saying wasn't worth saying because they had to remind you that they said it. <laughs> When people say that's a fact, the truth is, they have no idea. <laughs> and anytime anybody says, don't worry, we'll figure it out, worry, because you're going to have to figure it out all by yourself. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs> not kidding, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? <laughs> now this is important. Anytime anybody says beats me, don't hesitate. <laughs> Smack them upside the head with a dictionary, preferably on a bridge, because it's a problem in our society today. Our vocabulary is deteriorated into, what's the word? <laughs> Whatever. Both men and women, a man's vocabulary revolves around one word, the word do, to do to a man can mean whatever. <laughs> it can be a statement, dude. It can be a question, dude. It can, be a, it can be astonishment, dude. It can be impatience, dude. We have more dudes in our vocabulary than ever existed on a ranch. And ladies, yours is much better. Your vocabulary is a little larger than, our, than ours, so it revolves around two words. First word is, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Which is actually three words posing as one. All the blondes are going, oh. My. <laughs> he is so right. That is amazing. No, it's not, but that is the second word. Ladies, the word amazing. Can I let you, let on, can I, can I let you in on a little secret? A salad is not amazing. <laughs> not kidding. It's fresh. What, pray tell, is amazing? Don't pray, I'll tell you. Two women having a conversation and never using the word amazing, that would be amazing. <laughs> but it's just, no, 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 it's just amazing, it's not really amazing. What's really amazing is we put the word really in front of the word amazing, because amazing doesn't mean amazing anymore. That's really amazing, but a salad isn't, it really isn't. It's perishable. <laughs> Walking on water is amazing. Getting the entire planet believe you walked on water is really amazing. <laughs> A salad is nutritious. <laughs> Getting elected president without the popular vote is amazing. <laughs> Forgetting that happened and re-elected him four years later is really amazing. <laughs> Not a salad. Thanks very much. <laughs>